Howdy partners and welcome to a new Outlaws of Thunder Junction standard video and today we're playing some Orts of Blink and I got inspired to build this deck by the incredibly sweet interaction between the Nurturing Pixie which is a one mana fairy rogue with flying and when the Pixie enters the battlefield you can return up to one target non-fairy non at permanent you control to its owner's hand if a permanent was returned this way you put a 1-1 counter on the Pixie and the interaction between that card and cards like Hopeless Nightmare and Tithing Blade. These like enchantments and artifacts with EDB effects we can just pick them up and like reuse them. Um, the Pixie also has great synergy with something like Spirited Companion 2 mana 1-1 one, one, when it ends battlefield you get to draw a card it also works nicely with the hostile investigator which is a new card from otj a four mana creature four three when it enters the battlefield target opponent discards a card and whenever one or more players discard one or more cards you investigate this ability triggers only once each turn so it's also just a fantastic way to generate more card advantage and makes a pretty good like blink target if you need to now one of the cooler things about the nurturing pixie is that it can also pick up the wandering emperor um it really does say non-land permanent so if you want to reuse your emperor and put it back into your hand use again with flash pixie can do that which is just incredibly sweet um now because we have so many like etb effects i'm also playing fortune loyal steed which is one like ba basically like, my favorite blink card of all time in magic three mana two four legendary creature beast mount and when fortune ends the battlefield you get to scry two whenever fortune attacks while settled at the end of combat exile it up to one target creature that settled it this turn then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control with a saddle cost of one so basically we can like decide to settle using spirit of companion bring back to the battlefield get the etb effect again same with hostile investigator but fortune is the absolute best in combination with the prototype creatures which we also have in this deck which are steel serve and phyrexian flesh gorger and basically how fortune interacts with these cards is you can basically cast one of the prototype creatures for its prototype cost so the flesh gorger we can play for three mana instead of seven and then we have a three mana three three but if they get exiled and then return to the battlefield they will return for its full cost so the flesh gorger would be a seven five and it's just a fantastic way to like basically scam these cards into play for their full cost we're also playing with a new card getaway glamour which is like a one mana spree card which if you pay the additional cost of one you can exile a target non-token creature return it to the battlefield owner's owner's control at the beginning of the next end step so it's once again a great way for us to like blink uh some of these cards works really nicely with the prototype creatures you could pick the pixie back up uh, you could pick your investigators back up but it also has some like removal effects on it because for an additional plus two you can destroy a target creature if no other creature has a greater power so a very versatile card and really does a lot in a deck like this yeah i had a really incredible win rate with this deck i went six and one <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think we just got some really great matchups. I wasn't expecting much of this deck, but it did really good for me. So uh, yeah, let's get into the gameplay. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out and your support is greatly appreciated. Um, also, let me know what other decks you would like me to build. I'm looking for some more inspiration and uh, you guys usually have some great ideas in the comments. And with that being said, time to get into the gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. Two tap lands and a fortune. I think we gotta do better than that. It's a little bit better. Mm-mm. A little blade. Delny. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I played a Delny deck not too long ago and I did not vibe with it, so. Okay, this, they're playing poison, but they kept a one lander. arena team only doing styles every other set i guess i guess so because we got all of them from like murders weird love that it's an ability so you don't even get a poison counter high vibe i mean i like the setup investigator but i don't know what they're cooking up we have plot my animus and like just slam a hopeless nightmare. I feel like they might have counter magic. Gotta be careful. Yo, Teron, what's up? Well, played around that. 
painted observer okay vibes these are some scary ass cards right there oh my god wait is the dust animus a dead hostile investigator Why does he look like that? Hold up. <laughs> no, like the weapons look like similar like motifs. I don't know. Dude, Jami, thank you for the 25. It's, I'm getting some similar vibes. Pause champ. It's true. Similar kind of stance. Yeah, right? Like, why does it look so similar? Huh. I don't know. Could be cool. Do I try to hag him? I'll try. <laughs> yeah, they they got a cowboy hat, so they're basically the same thing. This homie is just out here vibing. Playing poison. Captain One Lander, but it's actually like unlocking the hand now, so that's good for them, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll pick up the Nightmare, I guess. Yo, Pixie! Pixie doing it though! Pixie, we stand. This is cool. Okay, sweet. Well, sure. I guess that's what you get when you play 25 lands. Okay. Gotta get the lands out of the way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what I draw into. Fortune. All right, I'll play Fortune out. Got myself an Animus homie. So we actually have so many lands that this is going to work, right? So if I play Dust Animus like this, and I do... Well, I mean, I guess it always comes in play like that, but I wonder even if we crewed it, or if we, like, saddled it, be, like, freshly untapped, it would have worked, right? Anyway, whatever. Um, I, I mean, I kind of just always win this, dude. Like, um, I could be fucking around, but... It's kind of cool that, like, if you play this thing on two and you get to turn five and you have a fortune that you can bring it back. Cause, like, I'm pretty sure it works that way, right? Either one of you guys. Yeah, the opponent kept a questionable, like, hand or whatever, so... That's on me for real. They are capable of playing Scrawls. What the shit? I don't know. Whatever, man. Oh, uh, no. I wouldn't say Poison is tier 1. See, they are playing small guys now. How many cards do they play in their deck? Huh. It's so odd. They're also playing, like... The other dudes? I don't remember what they're called anymore. I don't know. They're playing a bunch of like weird three, three drops on top of that. It's just something else. Either way, we'll be fine. I think. 
I think I'll be right. They must just be like very talented at finding like the wrong side of the deck. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, fortune. Vibes. That could be so good. We could blink Lorans. We could blink investigators. Ooh, we could blink a George. That's probably the better one. Okay. Okay. Can almost just hard cast them, I know. <laughs> am I just going in? I, I am. I am. I am doing exactly that. Fortune, we're so grateful for your service, homie. Thanks for doing what you do. Okay. Little loser. Do you think he needs his mother's attention? Probably. <laughs> Clown. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Fortune is probably just gonna get blocked by the Contaminator, but we do still get the Flesh Gorger because of, like, delayed triggers and shit. Okay. Their threat assessment is really bad. <laughs> it, it's really bad. Okay, sure, we take those. Yep. I mean, I might as well do like companion and like draw into things, right? Why not? Okay. Yep, that's a 7 5 flesh gorger. Do you want to deal with that or no? Pretty sweet. Nice little scam effect. Yeah, I can try to gleam getaway or whatever it is. The uh, getaway gleamer, gleam, gleamer, whatever. Okay, nah, not this song. Not this song, Spotify. You, you try it. <laughs> like, not that. <laughs> the cursed Spotify, like, suggested songs. All right, here we go. All right, we take it. Even though they were doing some insane, interesting stuff. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. All right. Let's we'll start off with the planes. Wow. Thundering Falls, Surveil, a Sunfall to the... That was a whole thing. Okay. Y'all ever just like... Bottom a Sunfall in your... Is that deck? <laughs> Whoa. That's diff. Sunfall can't hurt us when it's in a grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's also green in here now. I'm just growing like more and more confused as time goes on. Mm, what the shit? Yeah, weird that they're 86% when they're playing a five floor Sunfall deck. <laughs> Could have not predicted that. Oh my, not this fucking Selena Gomez song. <laughs> oh, it's full of fire, like... Just the most cursed shit. I don't even know what to say.
Like, are you gonna board wipe me? I'm truly... Okay, I don't think he would do that. It's not just domain, though. Like, they're playing a bunch of weird lands plus lightning helix. True gamer alert? Yeah. Is this that attracts a deck? What do you mean that attracts a deck? That attracts a deck. That sounds very like threatening. <laughs> Bro. Wait, are they actually gonna sunfall me again though? I'm kinda worried about that. I'm just gonna pass. Yo, cheese. <laughs> the Sithing Blade slays so hard right now. Is it Lila? Maybe? Let them cook. What a chef. Nice five pillar payoff. Yeah. <laughs> All that effort guess in Niv-Mizzet Supreme and it just results in a nothing. <laughs> They're probably playing the, the other Niv-Mizzet too. What is it? The MKM Niv? I don't even remember what that guy does. And there we have the dreaded Sunfall. Uh, okay. That's Sunfall number two. Right, so I could do Getaway Gleamer to blink my George and slay. Potentially. But it is Exile, Return to Battle for Owner's Control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. You gotta be careful of that. Fuck, I have to put a stop here. I might have to blink it. That's right, right? Okay, it's on their turn. So I think I go for it because, I mean, you're always going to have to pay the ward costs one way or another, so. <sighs> Damn. I mean, they still have to pay like three life, which is good, but. Yup, Dithing Blade win con. Let's get it. JK, unless they have another way to interact with this. I don't know. I also have Restless Fortress win con. So.
Jesus. Bog's getting pillaged over there. Uh oh. Surely they have cornucopia. Oh yeah, that's probably like their biggest payoff for sure. Well, shit gamers, I guess we gotta try it. <laughs> Could be looking at lethal here, potentially. Maybe... Okay. So, what's the move? Jesus, they live to see another day. I can't. All right, well, we got this on the way, so this song is... We, we move on. Die to the consuming sepulcher. Sepulcher, whatever. Do it! Pom pom pom, pom 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 pom. Oh lord, it's in a track stop. Please don't let them get that. Oh my god, I can't. Surely not another lane I'm biting away. What is that though? A lightning helix? Fuck, dude. Okay, now I can technically just remove my own creature though. <laughs> in response clown ah you mad <laughs> ah you mad got him <laughs> oh my god like find a cool deck don't get me wrong i just want to win i think technically this should be like quite a good matchup for us so we'll see we'll see we'll see Ooh, Fortune and George. Ooh. That's cool. So, because this game is going to go on for a while, it's got to be Cornucopia, right? Like, that's just going to get him the most value in the long run. Use Pog when a kid gave me a correct answer today and they all thought I was a hero. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hero, a hero for saying Pog, that's my dream. Also. These, like, hopeless nightmares gave us some good value. We stand. God, this widespread... Spread thiefing. Scary. They all know you got Twitch brain rot. <laughs> That's Pog. What a fortune. Kind of see if I can find a land. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> refer to your class and must chat. <laughs> oh, that's fucking silly if you do that. It's so silly. Yo, chat. <laughs> so silly. Oh, there goes fortune. <laughs> Land hostile investigator fucking vibes. Damn it. Can't have good shit. Well, we'll probably Liliana them though, still. Discarding a hag. No shit. Okay, well, at least we remove that, though. Trash 
surely this hits the land, right? Surely. I, I meant like a good one, though. I could think of a hopeless nightmare. That's cute, but ah. Yeah, opponent's gonna have a rough time with this one, I hope. We got him in the lock with Liliana. So, are you gonna keep your card or are you gonna remove? I mean, they gotta, right? There's no way in hell you wipe the board here, is what I'm about to say. Not a way in hell. You stupid fucking dinosaur! You're resaging a George? Wow, that's kind of like. intense. That's a little intense. Um. I guess they've lost the game now, like, unless they're, that is like, Leyline binding mana, but. Let's get rid of our last card, and then we're going to do Restless Fortress. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Sure. This is probably like a pretty good matchup for us anyway, though. We're against another, like, 80% player. I don't know what's going on anymore. like just fed dragons or something all right white man out the top one time come on now let's go let's go no way they're actually playing dragons i feel like a bully now Yo, Jordan, thank you so much for the six. I feel like a fucking bully, chat. Damn. Sorry to be a hater. All right. Yeah, sorry to be a hater, bestie. We're doing so good. I'm just eating like a little bit of a, not even a cookie. I don't even know necessarily what you would call this, but on the side, cause I'm hungry. <laughs> Didn't have breakfast. Yo, Steve, thanks for the four. Um, maybe a hopeless nightmare. Could have also been like a reasonable, like Thithing Blade transform, transform or whatever, but I'm cool with this. I mean, I don't think they could run into a worse matchup. <laughs> like, I feel bad.
I really don't think it could be any worse for them, really. I mean, maybe... I, do I actually... Do I want to do this? I might regret that. I highly doubt it. Thank you. All right, let's get rid of this guy. I doubt I'll regret it. Like, I have so much removal. I should be all right. We just bullied them. I felt so mean. Yeah. Truly doing some evil stuff. But we're also really cool. We got some cool blink effects and all that. And kind of slays. No removal though. That could be concerning. But we have a lot of opportunities to draw into it. So. We'll see. Go my cafe. Hmm. Do I eventually... I might regret not having removal in my opening hand. We the baddies? Possibly? It's technically like the Egon Joe is removal, so... You're... Removing... Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing Nightmare and a Pixie and a Nightmare, and it's like, it's just so degenerate, like... <laughs> it's just so degen. Wait, why do they keep temp- Ah, uh, okay. Mm, sure, I guess I can kind of see it. Like, you know, lose for life, discard two cards, and I get a 2-2 flyer as well. Like, that's just so good. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That's just sweet, like... Yo, Laser, what's up? Zurgo and Ojutai, oh fuck. They got hexproof, don't they? Ah, shit. Mm. This could be a problem. Yeah, Zurgo and Ojutai kind of slay. could be in trouble. I can at, like, at least have to Iganjo the Defiant Thunder Maul and then whatever else happens, I have no idea. Right, like... Axe proof is a keyword. Arms getting tan? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Still white as fuck. Just the lighting though. Okay, so I think I'm slamming investigator, and the next turn we can just do like an adult steel seraph. And hope for the best. <laughs> Worst hex proof. That was a vibe. Do we have another banger? What do we have? Shy girl. You still blinking Zurgo and Ojitai? Yep. Mm -mm. I think we can't gain life, but we can. OK. 
Kyle, at least you're trying to stay alive. Today I played against someone who doesn't use a name, that was something like, I hate the sun, and they had a sword in Avatar and played vampires, I respect that. <laughs> that's very respectable, actually, that's, that's a slay. Very respectable. We'll still be able to get through this thanks to the Steel Seraph, you know. Draw a card. <sighs> Zero and Oji's high. There's something waiting for you. There's no way they like attack and then put it into their hand, right? Because you will literally fucking die. Okay, now I'm just ignoring it. They also have played High Noon, so like you can't even play anything else anymore. Like you're cooked. <laughs> what is this? Okay, sure. We'll take it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Seriously, fuck that. Is this red aggro? Level one plays mono red aggro. We love to see it. That's the reckless impulse. Okay. I'm just going to play Pixie out like this. I will get to George and I'll get the fortune and then we will live our best lives. Well, we're going to do fortune first and then George. So we get the scam going. There's no way Mono Red Aggro beats the Scam George. Like, he's not a way in hell. Well, not really a scam. Well, kind of. And it's Teely Seraph, too. Okay, vibe with it. Sure, I'll keep both. Okay, what the fuck was that? I was scared for a twin inferno. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? I was really scared for twin inferno. Oh my fucking god. Well, I was gonna scam George. Okay, what am I doing? Because now I'm like kind of tempting, tempted to go with the Tiffing Blade because they actually flip this super cheaply now. It's got to be the blade now, right? <laughs> Wait. How are we? Yeah, okay. Never mind. No, so I was looking at that Samu, so we knew what Creature Fugitive Codebreaker was because it was revealed with Reckless Impulse. So that kind of had me confused for a second too, but yeah, that was the, uh, the truth on that one. Yeah, like I was thinking like that's really weird for it to do that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good it was revealed, so. Dixie pick a blade, fortune scry, land maybe? Right, I'll take a pixie. Yeah, I was like, I was getting a little worried as well, personally, but we're good. We're good. That was weird, though. <laughs> weird as fuck if not. 
Get the Glade is waiting on you. Oh shit. Ooh. Really hoping to draw land, you know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Land. Those, so what's up? Thank you for the 13 months. Hey, yo, I appreciate you. Okay, yes, yes, give me that land. Thank you. We got a George. I think we're good here. Lucky okay, number 13. We'd love to see it. Even though I will have definitely butchered the name pronunciation, but we move. Nah, I'm not keeping up Glamour. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm just playing a George. I started gaining some life. It will be great. George will soon be a 7-5. If he uses a slick shot, would that kill me though? What is it? 1, 2, 3, 3 to 5? Unless they have like another card. I guess if they have like if they actually mm, yeah if they drew into slick shot and then also a spell yeah i guess it would have but then i should have just held back with the pix well pixie because it would have got menace mm. uh, yeah i guess it would have been safer to like hold a glamour but fuck it we, we were okay not punished not punished never never Never, never. The deck is doing really good, but we're also in a really weird queue right now. So, like, we're really only finding people in like 80 and 90%. So, nothing really like top tier. So, we're winning. Like, we're five and one. <laughs> Soon to be six and one, but the field is weird. I don't know. The field is weird. Like, we're five and one soon to be six and one i hope but yeah it's strange the back rooms kind of yeah we're in the orts off the orts off queue <laughs> we are no but like i said earlier as well like i think i'm like 99 sure we're in this like hell queue um because at the end of near the end of the season which is where we're at right there's, there's two more days left in the season the people that are spiking it out, they're camping on their ranks right now. And the people that are just having fun with Bruce, they're playing. So you have a much higher chance of like finding the people that are just vibing at low rank, like low ranks with cool decks, you know, or people that aren't as good as like other players. So like Monorad's a good deck, but like maybe just players playing, a, a, you know, an off deck or like not piloting it well enough. I don't know, but yeah, the spikes are just sitting on their ranks right now, basically. It's cool, right? Yeah, I, I truly think it's just like people are just not doing it, you know. This is risky. However, I'm down. Let's fight. Antagonize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very weird. Like, I don't know. It's very weird. But yeah, it explains our incredibly high win rate and playing against like low ranked people. <laughs> I'll take it though. I think the deck's cool. We, I mean, we did like... We are beating Mono Red Aggro now. We almost beat Orta or uh, Azorius Control if we hit a land drop, which we didn't hit. 
So, you know. We'll be also playing against some some crazy stuff. To be fair, you know. Weird. The whitelisted queue. <laughs> No, my steel serif. Well, at least you don't have a twin fur now. What? Yeah, I think we win these always. We got two blades in our hand. We got a pixie. I'll just hold my removal that to the point that like whatever, you know, they try to hit the demonic ruckus we remove. Or to get to draw the card. Let's see. Investigator's a homie. I'll play it, sure. I'll go there. Put a little bit more pressure on the opponent. Even though, like, we don't get a clue for it, it's still four power, so that's good. Let's go. Okay. Has hand to We Hope Pride and Sunday, and she's my favorite diva. I've never seen her since she's a Relios US show. I'm so excited. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. I want to see. Doesn't Kylie have like a Vegas residency? Is that still a thing? In my head, I was going to try to see Kylie with Magic when Vegas happened, but I don't know if she still has it. You play much Explorer. I like Pioneer, but I don't really play it on stream much. Play my homie fortune. Here we go. Let's see if we can scry into something good. That shit sold out so fast. Damn, maybe she'll come back? Like. Hopefully. Damn, that fucking sucks. <laughs> that fucking sucks. That really sucks. Mm. Yeah, I fear. My pixie getting buffed up now. Yeah, that really fucking sucks. Like, I sometimes, like, check out the... What was the... The Kylie Minogue, like, 2002 concert on YouTube just to feel alive. <laughs> but, you know, can't have it all. Pixie MVP, for sure, for sure. <laughs>